Amen. So this morning, I want to talk about some personal financial advice. The first thing I want to speak about is spending. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't run out on me now, y'all. All right? It's a li- just a little personal financial advice. Now let me just say right up front, I am not a financial advisor. But I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. Amen? So. <laughs> All right, so don't try to hold me legally responsible here for anything. But let me just share a couple things with you. You know, my grandfather, who was a legal, a legal immigrant, came here through Ellis Island in the, in the early 1900s at the age of six years old. He began working on the railroad at the prime age of 12 years old. Now, he didn't lay in bed all day playing video games. Watching TV all day. Come on, y'all. Right? It was a matter of survival. When they came here, they had nothing. Zero. Nada. Right? It was a matter of survival. There were no labor laws. There was no assistance from the government. Nobody was helping them. Nothing. So he began working on the railroad at 12 years old. Him, his father, and his two brothers, the four of them, had given over 200 years service to the railroad. Yeah, my grandfather himself worked for 50 years for P and L E Railroad, retired at the age of 62. Then he worked for another 20 years for my father who was in the restaurant business. And I was very, very close to my grandfather, so we had a lot, a lot of conversations. He taught me a very valuable financial principle. It's an old Italian proverb, and I think we have the slide for this. It says, you can't earn one penny and spend two. (laughs) Deep theology, y'all. So instead of just raising taxes all the time, maybe someone in our government can learn this principle. Mm -hmm. Now stay with me here. Watch this. Because the lack of abiding by this simple principle in our personal financial habits has caused an explosion of slavery in our nation today. Let me show you a photo of the two most notorious slave owners in the USA. Can you put that up there, Caleb? I want you to look at it. Look good. Anybody recognize these taskmasters? Come on, we're in church. Anybody in bondage to some of these taskmasters? Don't let your arthritis kick in now. Proverbs 22 and 7 says, The rich rule over the poor, and the borrow, which is you or me, is a slave to the lender, a slave to the card. Now, church, we're talking about financial health, and I want this to really help somebody this morning. Credit card debt is the worst, the worst kind of debt you can have. Is it all right if we just have this discussion this morning? Is this this okay? I mean, you're all kind of a little getting quiet on me. I mean, listen, this is just family table talk, y'all, right? That's all this is. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to ask for a special offering. This is just family table talk with everybody. All this nonsense with this prosperity gospel that you need to have big cars and big houses and certain clothes and designer clothes. Listen, if you want true financial freedom, be debt free. Come on, somebody. Has anyone in this house ever paid a credit card off to zero before? Or a loan, a mortgage, a car note? How much freedom did you feel writing that last? Come on, church. I mean, that is a release, baby. Oh, my gosh. When you you write that last payment in and you see, I'll never forget, uh, you know, receiving that Final thing for here for the church, zero balance. I was full of the Holy Ghost, somebody. 
Now listen, I understand house and car notes, and we're going to talk about them in a minute, because there is a such thing as good debt and bad debt. Good debt and bad net, debt. Now the reason or the motive why most people overcharge their credit cards is simply a lack of financial discipline. I'm not talking about hard times because some of us have fell on hard times in the past. We had to live off our credit card. I had to do that for a short season at one point in my life. Right? I was almost bankrupt. I had nowhere else to turn. Thank God. Right? But I'm talking about financial discipline. But even in your hard times, you cannot stay there. The reason why most charge is they are not disciplined enough to wait or to save enough money. Impulse purchasing or this big lie, it's on sale. <laughs> it's a great deal. I got to get it. I can't afford it. Let me, where are you, slave master? Oh, speak Holy Spirit. Speak Holy Spirit. Listen, honey, it's not a great deal if you can't afford it. Oh, just a couple amens, but that's okay. I got a whole lot more to go through to get some amens later on here, so y'all just stay with me. And today, today it's even worse because you have online shopping. People all excited about receiving their boxes at the door. Looking out the curtain. Where's UPS? He's coming up the street. Is this my day? I've been checking my phone. He's I know I'm getting a delivery. Come on, y'all. You know, you get that little adrenaline rush. It's like a drug. It's an addiction. Come on, y'all. I'm trying to help some. I'm trying to help somebody get free this morning. You know, unfortunately, that's how a whole lot of people deal with stress. By buying things. Buy things out of stress. Sometimes it's just keeping up with the Joneses. Who are the Joneses anyhow? Come on, y'all. Watch what Proverbs has to say. Watch. Proverbs 12 and 9, if you could get it up. It's better to be a nobody and yet have a servant than pretend to be somebody and have no food. Yikes. <laughs> Let, 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 let me rephrase that. Let me say it another way. It's better to have all your bills paid than wear your designer clothes, drive a new car, and stress out about your financial, uh, finances every month eating ramen noodles. <laughs> you all receiving something this morning. Now I'm going to give you another proverb. Come on, this is practical proverbs. 13 verse 7, one person pretends to be rich, yet has nothing. Another pretends to be poor, yet has great wealth. So listen, church, listen to me. Just because the Joneses look like they have something doesn't mean that they do. How many of you know there's a whole lot of folk that just like to front? So don't try to keep up with the Joneses. Like the Apostle Paul wrote, he said, learn to be content with food, raiment, shelter, whether poor or rich. Godliness with contentment is great gain. So I'm here trying to encourage somebody, if you're carrying credit card debt, you are a slave to that card, and it's time to get free. Do like another man named Paul wrote. Just slip out the back, Jack. Make a new plan, Stan. 
You don't need to be coy, Roy. You just get yourself free. Hop on the bus, Gus. You don't need to discuss much. Drop off the key, Lee, and get yourself free. Somebody give our God a praise in the house. Hi, I'm Pastor Michael Eurisha, and I hope you enjoyed today's short word. If you liked and agreed with this message, please hit the share button and share it with everyone you know. Together, we could proclaim this gospel of Jesus Christ to the ends of the earth. And now, if you'd like to watch the message in its entirety, simply click on the link below. God bless you, my friend, and we hope to see you here next time as together we go beyond. to proclaim the gospel.